This is going to be a video on a 2018 Tesla. I'm going to change the 12 volt battery. We'll go through real quick what the codes are. A192, A402, A182, windshield washer. We're not really concerned with that one. So we get in service mode real quick. Click your car. Software, hold your model. Type in service. Service alerts. This is pretty much going to be the same thing. Change the 12 volt. And in this menu, we can go through and click on low voltage. Power distribution is going to pop up. Um, saying that we have a low voltage fault and we do flood it battery uh 12.6 and I Everything else is pretty checked out. Access the service mode. Back to the home menu. Next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop the windows just in case something happens. Dropping all the windows. Okay. They're all down. We'll get on to our next step. And that's going to be popping the front. The next step we're going to do is taking off this top plastic. And you do that just by grabbing it and pulling up. Whole thing comes out. And at this point, see this is like your air intake and then the batteries here these guys just pop up then you have pretty good access to your battery that's your positive that's your negative before I get too much deeper you want to go ahead and open up your doors, get your front seats slid forward, up and out of the way. Next step is going to be getting the back seat up. All right, this one's going to be a little bit low light, but for each side, there's going to be a tab that you push in. Try to set up. Right here on the seat, this little black tab, just pull it to the side, and the seat will lift up. And the whole seat just comes up just like that.
these are the little tabs that you're pushing right here just like that all right our next step is going to be turning off the car so we will click our car go to safety get all the way down and click power off and are you sure you want to yes but if you want to power it back on you place your foot on the brake turn it back on all right so the car is dead as the next step tesla wants you to disconnect the negative terminal This should be a number 10. Here's our negative terminal coming off. We're gonna get that somewhere that it can't touch anything. Coming from getting the negative off, this is where they wanna disconnect the power back here behind the seat. Oh, not the zoom. This little phone come off, push down on the gray, pull the whole thing up, make sure that you don't set this down on the metal, put it on your plastic floorboard, that's it for back here. Coming back up to the front of the car, we will disconnect the positive with a 10 mil also. tuck this in here so that it can't touch anything metal and also a 10 mil this little bracket that will hold the battery down Got to do the whole thing. Okay. Got the nut right here. Top plate. hooked up now there is some vent tubes which are right here on the negative positive does not have one so we'll get that unhooked pulls out all right 
and now we're at the point where we can pull this out. Sitting the new battery in the hole. Negative on the right, positive on the left, just like how it was. Get our bracket in. Switch down. this back together with our tin. Till she's tight and then she's good. Now that we're all secure right here, we're gonna go back to the back seat. Get this gray clip back secured. down and pull it up click it in put the phone back on okay now we're ready to go to the front okay Next up, we're going to do the positive. Set it on. Tighten our tin. Positive's tight, set the protector back up there on it. Okay. Take our vent and we will put that in the negative. And then finally, this is the negative. Car is talking. that down all the way. Okay. Tighten the negative up. We're ready to go into the car. Heading back into the back seat of the car. We're gonna get the back seat put back down. Gotta get the seat belts lined up. Got to get your long one on first.
flip down. And clip down. All right, getting back into the car. Haven't pressed anything. Back seat's in. All right, our code is no more. Nothing new popped up. That's just saying like all the uh, driver's doors are was open. Pop them back into the service mode real quick. So it was four, now it went two. And this is for the windshield wiper flow up. Okay, so that's looking good. Exit. All right, now that everything is looking good in the car. Come back up, get some lights on. Our first piece going back on, it's gonna be this section. in our big top section All right, this is how it will look when you're done the grass all right now we'll just get the hood closed up we're ready to roll I'll just pop in the cabin one more time just to confirm Windshield wiper fluid low. Alright, everything's working. Thanks for watching.